Hello, my name is Ashley Newhall, and I'm an Extension Legal Specialist with the Department of Agriculture and Resource Economics, as well as a member of the Ag Law Education Initiative. And today I will be continuing our discussion of business entities with the Limited Liability Company. The blue arrow is pointing to where the limited liability companies would fall under, under other business forms. And as you may have noticed, under 2% of all farms in Maryland use the limited liability company. However, this isn't uncommon. We are in line with the rest of the United States as far as limited liability company usage for agriculture companies. A limited liability company is a hybrid of a corporation and a partnership. It has limited liability but is, is treated as a non-corporate entity for tax purposes. Any entity can be an owner. What this provides is creativity for farms with separate operations. For example, if you have a dairy as well as a farming part of your business, the farm can be one type of business entity and also have ownership in a limited liability company that your dairy is filed under. Limited liabilities are also less restrictive than corporations and also require less paperwork. What is required for a limited liability company is an operating agreement. This gives the producer great flexibility in planning for the future of the business through the use of this agreement. An operating agreement can be specifically tailored to the needs of the LLC, dictating the specific needs of all players of the operation. It can even account for off-farm children who may be allowed to only participate in revenues but not manage or make any decisions. The disadvantages of a limited liability company include self-employment tax. This is a high tax rate and is higher than the corporate tax rate that you might see with a corporation. It's taxed on the profits from the LLC and the LLC operating agreement can also cause issues if not done correctly. So who is actually managing and who is not? If it's not provided for in the LLC operating agreement, this could cause problems, especially among on and off farm family members. For more information, you can check out the ALEI UME publication from myself and Paul Goringer. This publication provides a lot more detail on this topic and accounts for all business entities, disadvantages and advantage for each of them as well. You can find this publication at the website listed at the bottom of this slide. Thank you for listening today. If you would like to reach me, my phone number is 301-458-5125. My email is a-n-e-w-h-a-l-l at umd.edu. I welcome any and all questions you might have on this topic. Thank you and have a great day.